Hello everyone, it is Frasmotica here and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Now you'll remember in the last episode it was a little bit messy, stuff didn't go the way that I wanted it to, and I told you that I would make up for that in this episode. Well, you just wait, you are in for an absolute treat. Not only because I've got all of this cool shit right here, I've just got... I'm never going to run out of food, I think that is a, that's a given, plenty of world blaze roads, everything from the farms, but we are going to make pretty much the ultimate electrical tool right here, right now. And this thing that we're going to make is called the Vadra, and yeah, it looks a bit suspicious at first, but let me explain. So, for this we need some refined iron, energy crystals, carbon plates, advanced alloys, labdron crystals, we made those before. But then we need this thing called a Vadra core, which kind of looks like a turret from Portal 2, a sentry turret. And that needs these superconductors, which require superconductor covers, which need a lot of iridium, and then we also need iridium plates, Tesla coils, and HV transformers, and we also need this thing called a magnetron, which requires another superconductor. We need a lot of iridium for this. I think it's something like 24 iridium ore to make one of these Vadra cores and to make the Vadra. So, let's make the Vadra core first. Right here, let's make one Vadra core right there. And now let's go and make the actual Vadra, like I say, the most powerful electric tool in the game, I think. So, I'm going to make a pattern for it because uh, I might want to make another one at some point. You never know. So we go like this, and then I believe it's two advanced alloys there. Lapidron crystal, energy crystal, refined iron, and carbon plate. Vadra! Mm, yes! Right, so let's go and put the pattern into the assembly chamber. So much stuff in here. That's cool. Um, yeah, let's make the Vadra. The ultimate electrical tool. Come on, I need to. I need to put some of my stuff in there. Okay, come on. What are you missing? You're not missing anything. You're just making carbon plates. Sure. Hurry up. Come on, Vadra. Come on, Vadra. Vadra. Oh yes. Oh, this thing is incredible. And yes. What might have you some what some of you might have been thinking I should say the Vadra does look like a vagina. Deal with it, because that's how it is. I think it was <laughs> I think it was modelled on a vagina, I'm not even gonna lie. Um so yeah, what does the Vadra do? Well it holds a million EU and it is powered by EU, so we're gonna need to uh we're gonna need to charge it up. Chuck it in the MFSU and this thing should charge up nice and quick. There we go. Now what the Vadra can do is it, it may it may sound overpowered, but it will one hit any mob and it will one hit any block apart from end portal a warding stone or warding block or whatever it's called uh, or end portal or bedrock. It won't one hit those, but it'll one hit every other block in the game and also one hit mobs. So creeper, you are for the testing. Come here, you're dead. How much did that take up? Not much because I've got the freaking gravity chest plate thing in the lap pack. So it'll drain from the lap pack, but it takes up I think 6,666 EU for every mob that it slays. And it takes up 3,333 EU for every block that it destroys. And watch this. That's just it. All of that dirt has been picked up by being one hit. Let's try it on, uh, on some stone. How about that? Uh... Oh, I'm not going to use my my house. That's a bad idea. Uh, actually, you know what? We need even better test. Let's try it on some freaking obsidian because my god, is this thing really freaking good? Let's just put some out in a line like that. Look at that! Just look at that! This thing tears stuff up. Ah, <sighs> I'm so happy I have this now. I won't need a freaking chainsaw. I won't need a well. I will need a wrench because this thing. Well, if you hit something with it that would usually be picked up by a wrench axe as a pickaxe. But I won't need the chainsaw anymore, so I can cut down trees with this thing. Let me go do that as well. Look at that. Tearing everything up. That is just awesome. I love this tool. So, this is going to be my bestest friend for, uh, for a good while now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, Buzzkill here because he does not need to be uh, in my possession. And neither does Landscrew really, but I'm going to keep him in my tool bag because he's got those enchantments on it. Now, I can enchant the Vadra with Silk Touch and Fortune and those kind of things. 
but uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. We've only just made the friggin' Vadra, so I'm not going to go overboard with uh, doing stuff to it. But here we are, the ultimate electronic tool in Feed the Beast. Can I see it? Look at that. Look at that thing there. Does that not look amazing? Well, blah, 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 I hit you with a vagina. Okay, so we've made Vadra. Uh, let me rename it, actually. Uh, can I rename it to Looks Like a Vagina? Because that would be pretty good. Or looks like a v no, vag equals looks like a. Uh, oh, I should probably make it a sentence. Looks like a vagina. Ha ha ha. Okay, so this is gonna come up every time I equip it. So you know, if you're offended by that kind of language, deal with it. As I said, because. Um, if you, yeah, that's basically it. And I'm I'm told that there's some kind of mode which um, which it does something special if it right if you right click with it. But I'm not gonna. Well, actually, I might try it out like a ways away. I don't wanna. I've heard it's quite destructive, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me try it out over here. What does right click do? Oh, well, it just does the exact same thing. Okay, well, that's a bit stupid. Um, all right, let's go back to the base. Alright, so I think what we're going to do today, aside from crafting this good old look like a vagina, is we are going to be taking a look at some of the add-ons for industrial craft. And uh, real quick, I've got uh, this wireless redstone stuff controlling all my farm. So these are area wireless transmitters, which will send a redstone signal wirelessly to a receiver on the same frequency. So for this one here, the blaze farm, it's got a frequency of 1. There's a wireless receiver on top of the blaze farm, also with a frequency of 1. And so if I want to turn it off, I just flick the lever back at home. This thing will emit a redstone signal in the direction of this satellite dish. Goes down to the spawner, turns it off. Very nice to be able to operate all the farms from the house. And that's pretty much how all of them work. And also, I did up the wheat farm. And uh, I've got it on show in this nice stone brick hut right here. I've got uh, a display of how much bread I'm making because I'm using those auto crafting tables to automatically make bread out of the wheat. And uh, yeah, this is going very, very strongly. And I use some insulated red, uh, red alloy wire, just to um, just to show the, show the separation between the different operations. Okay, back to what I was saying. The industrial craft two add-ons that we're going to explore today. Well, we've already explored one, which is uh, the gravitation suite, which lets you make the uh, the looks like a vagina. But uh, we're also going to be exploring a bit more of Greg Tech today. And the reason we're going to be doing that is because. The rotary macerators that we have are good, but they're not great. What is great is this thing called an industrial grinder. Now this industrial grinder is the absolute best form of ore processing, I think. So for this thing, you can, oh it doesn't show it properly, but what you can do with this is you can grind up pretty much every single uh, ore in the game. In the industrial grinder it makes, it makes those ores that you haven't ground up yet a hell of a lot more useful. For example, if we want to get this, uh, use this ferrous ore for something, let's uh, open it up. We could just smelt it into nickel, but I told you not to do that, because if you put it into an industrial grinder, along with a water cell, you can get three nickel dust and this tiny pile of platinum dust. Or, if you whacked in this mercury cell right here, which is, um, which is made with quicksilver in an automatic canning machine, as it's called, which is made from smelting cinnabar, you remember that cinnabar that we picked up, then you can get the platinum dust. And the platinum dust is insanely useful because you can use it to, uh, what is it for? You can use it for a lot of the end game stuff, I believe. You can smelt it into platinum ingots. Uh, or alternatively, I think, yep, yeah, you can centrifuge it to make nickel as well as an iridium nugget. And nine iridium nuggets will create one iridium ingot. Now, speaking of iridium ingots, my mass fabricator uh, is back up and running. I disabled it briefly because I didn't think I had enough power. But since I've got some more boilers, actually, um, I've got one boiler um, running this thing on a dedicated power supply. And I've just got so many scrap boxes because my recyclers have got these overclocker upgrades in them, which means they go a lot, lot faster. They draw out more power, but they go a lot faster, as I said. And I've now got some dedicated power going to them because they take so much. So I'm getting lots of UU matter, and so, uh, yeah, lots of UU matter means lots of iridium if I need it. But uh, like I said, we're going to build that industrial grinder to take care of some of our ores, as opposed to the uh, the normal rotary macerators. Um, the problem is, 
these industrial grinders are a little bit expensive. To make them, you need these things called diamond grinders or wolframium grinders. And I'm not going to go for the wolframium grinders because that's a bit more difficult than the diamond ones. The diamond ones are easy to come by, but they're still not too easy to come by. You need four steel plates, some diamond dust, and then this new item which is called an industrial diamond. And the industrial diamond, you need uh, you need industrial TNT and normal diamond dust, and you need to put it in this thing called an implosion compressor. So, before we can make the grinder, we actually need to make the implosion compressor. This is also from Greg Tech, as you'd expect, and it requires four advanced alloy, two electronic circuits, two advanced machine blocks, and a compressor. So let's make the, uh, the implosion compressor. Here we are, make one of you. Should be uh, doing its thing. Yep, it's just crafting up some plates. We'll let that do. Now, I believe with the implosion compressor, you have to set it up in a certain way with the machine casing that is included with Greg Tech. I believe you need, uh, I think it's 18 of this reinforced machine casing, as well as having, uh, was it four? No, it's eight. As well as having eight of the standard machine casing. So we do need quite a bit of that. Uh, yeah, this is this is this might take a while, I think. So let me go set up the uh, the base of it. Or should I first? I'll explain the machine casing. How it works for the implosion presser is that the eight standard machine casing go on the corners of the three by three cube, and then the rest is composed of the reinforced machine casing. So let me set it up here. Should have enough space just here. Yep, so the corners go like this, and then of course the corners on the upper layer as well. But the rest of the the rest of the machine casing is composed of reinforced. So we've got all of this, all of this, that there, and no, nope, we don't want to Good God, Vajra, stop being such a beast. It looks like a vagina. Okay, uh I believe actually do we need to put anything in the centre? I'm not entirely sure. Um Right, we'll just see how this goes. We'll just see how this goes. Okay, so let's put the reinforced machine casing there. So we're just waiting on some more. Uh, what should I say? Put the standard machine casing here, and we're just waiting on the reinforced ones. So are they done yet? Done yet? Yes, they are. Reinforced machine casing. Okay. So we put this guy here and here and here and here and here and here. And is that correct? Uh, it doesn't look correct to me, actually. Um, let's get the implosion compressor, now that it is finished. And I think we have to put this on the top when the machine casing's all done. Is that right? Incomplete machine casing. Okay, I've done something wrong. I will get back to you once I've figured it out. Okay, silly me. It turns out that you actually have to leave the center block completely empty. So, let me... Give me the implosion compressor. Thank you. And... Looks like a vagina is tearing stuff up. Okay, so we leave it the center empty. There we go. And then we put the implosion compressor on top. And that, there we go. The machine casing is now complete. So this implosion compressor, it said it needed diamond dust and what was called industrial TNT to make the industrial diamonds that we need. So let's grab some diamond dust. Man, I love this thing. I think we might need to hook this up to a power supply, actually. Let me see if I can... Uh, Change the power settings on uh, on the boiler to um, accommodate for some power. Uh, let's not send any power to the blast furnace just yet. Let's send some power to the implosion compressor. This is going to require a bit of complex wiring, uh, but I don't mind because I have plenty of glass fiber cables and nothing to worry about. So, here we go. Wire it up. Just, oh, for flip's sake, I just realized. The implosion compressor only takes 32 EU per tick. That was stupid. Okay, I will be back once I've sorted that out. My god, that, that scared me a bit. That was a big old explosion. Ay, uh, yay, yay. That's not good. Okay, I'll be back once I've sorted this out. Alrighty, hopefully I've got it right this time. If we wank down the implosion compressor here, as I said, it will only accept 32 EU per tick, so I had to put a low voltage transformer here to step down the medium voltage to low. And so, yeah, we can whack our stuff in here and get these industrial diamonds, but we'll also need some industrial TNT, and industrial TNT is relatively simple. 
All you need, uh, how many did I need? I needed 32, didn't I? So 32 there. All industrial TNT is, is flint like this surrounding some TNT. And you could use flint dust, but uh, flint dust is, uh, is a, it's a better ratio when you just use normal flint. And I have so much normal flint anyway. And you'll notice this is actually in place of my coke oven. I got rid of my coke oven plainly because I don't need it anymore because I have a ridiculous amount of charcoal and coal and coal coke already as well. So that's fine. So let's grab our industrial TNT. We need 32 per operation, as I said. So let's put 32 in there and let's put four diamond dust in the implosion compressor with it. And there we go. Three industrial diamonds and 16 dark ashes. Now, what can the dark ashes be used for? We can make fertilizer out of it, this Industrial Craft 2 fertilizer, as you can see. Um, that's pretty interesting. Uh, you can centrifuge it to make ashes and slag. Now, I know that slag can be used in um, induction smelters to increase ore output, so maybe I'll do that with it. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's see. What power is this? No, 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 no. I'm not working out it looks like a vagina. So this is, this. well, the frequency is called Blast Furnace, so... Let's change, let's say, I don't want power going to the mass fab, let's just send uh, plenty of power to the blast furnace. Uh, actually, having said that, it already completed its operation, so I don't know what I'm crying about. Um, okay, well there you go, the implosion compressor gave us our industrial diamonds. Um, okay, so these industrial diamonds, they can be used to make the diamond grinders. And the diamond grinders, how are they made? Diamond grinders, you need steel plates, one industrial diamond, and diamond dust. Now we need three of these, each recipe makes two, so we're going to need two industrial diamonds. Uh, might make a pattern for it, actually. Yeah, why not? Steel plates, got the diamond dust, just need, oh, I've got my patterns, I've got everything. My goodness, how convenient. And you can shapelessly craft them into a normal diamond if you want to, but what's the point, honestly? What is the frickin' point? That's what I thought. Okay, we've got our grinders. Let's make the pattern. And we need to make three of them. So let's just tell it to make three and it'll make enough based on how much each recipe makes because it's cool like that. Okay, so diamond grinder. Let's make three. Or two. Uh, your choice. Four. There we go. So we only need one. So we've got our grinders. Now we just need to finish off making the actual grinder. So what do we need for this? We need advanced machine blocks, advanced circuits, an industrial electrolyzer, which, okay, well, I can do that. I'll make a pattern for that. And this pump, which needs uh, empty cells, stuff like this, tree tap, this mining pipe, which is refined iron and tree tap. This is a bit of crafting, so I think I'll see you once I've finished off making this. Alrighty, so we have got pretty much everything we need to make this industrial grinder. Let's just pop in these diamond grinders, the fancy grinding head. And here we are, the industrial grinder, Ultimaceratron 42A, of course. Now this thing will take medium voltage, so I shouldn't have to worry about stuff blowing up. But uh, I'm going to need to route some power into a different area, so I might need to make some power converters. Um, you know what, I might take the implosion compressor down for now because I really don't need it. Um, yeah, I'll put it back up uh, in between episodes, but I really don't need this right now, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it down, I'll replace it when it comes to uh, the time of need. So, uh, glass fiber cables, yeah, that's it. That is it. Don't need you, like, good god. V JJ. Looks like a vagina. Calm your teats. But I thought this was a vagina. Yes. Anyway, um, how does the machine casing work for this? I can't quite remember, actually. I'm going to look that up quickly as well, because I'm a noob. Alrighty, so this one works a little bit differently. We can keep the middle layer as it is, but we're going to need to, I believe, make it so that... God, my vagina is going to town on this stuff. That is not a good thing to say in front of your friends and family. Good God. Stop, vagina, stop being so powerful. Ah, okay, so we're going to need some more standard machine casing. Let's bring that out here. The bottom layer is going to be completely composed of standard machine casing, and the middle layer is going to be completely composed 
of reinforced machine casing. I need to stop tearing holes in my floor. And then the top layer is just going to be standard machine casing as well. Although the middle layer, I think we put... Uh, do we put... I think we put a water source block in the middle. So, let's do that bottom layer and then the middle layer. Just like that. I haven't said that in a while. And then the top layer. Just like that. And I think that's pretty much how it works. Now, I think we need to attach the industrial grinder uh, to the side. Now, let's see if this thing has got it correct. What have I... Do I need to put water in the middle? I think I do. I thought it was an option, but apparently it's not. All right. Let's get a bucket out. Uh, not bucket of water. Perfect. Put it there. And it's starting to rain. Outside, that is. The weather right now is pretty shite. Not in real life. Okay. Here we are. I mean, um, yes, in real life. Not in Minecraft. Jesus. Okay. So our industrial grinder is set up. Uh, it is, uh, it's complete. So I'm going to tear down this. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to use my rock cutter because it's a bit slower. And I don't want to tear down this entire building. But I can see myself doing... Making a lot of mistakes with uh, my uh, looks like a vagina, so I'm gonna try to use it uh, as least I possibly can. So the industrial grinder has two slots right here, and if you look up the recipes, you can see there are a ton of recipes. But what the grinder does is it grinds up ores and such way better than everything else. Remember this manazit ore that we had? Well, if we pipe water into it, or at least buckets of water or water cells. Um, yeah, we can make 10 4 cc amount of each, which is used to create force fields in the modular force field system mod. And this thorium dust we also get with it, which we can use in nuclear reactors. That's a late game thing, which we'll have a lot of fun with, I'm sure. And we also get our cells back at the end of it, so the water cell is just acting like a catalyst, I guess. Um, although the water is used up, so that's technically not correct. Oh well. This industrial grinder will do our stuff very, very well. So the top slot there is where the ores go, or whatever you're trying to grind up, and the bottom is where uh, cells or water goes. Now, we can pump in cells if we want to using applied energistics, so I think I'm going to do that. Now, there are two types of cells, so once I've made this export bus, we are going to... No, not the extractor. Bloody hell. Export bus. Okay. Put you there, and... Uh, this is going to connect, I guess, around the back. Why not? Get our ME cables. And let's connect this to the network. To the network. And here we are. So this is going to export some kind of cells there. But there are two types of cells that we're going to want to use um, for most of this stuff when we want to, uh, when we want to grind stuff up. There is the water cell, which we saw earlier. Uh, where is it in this list? There are so many cells, it's kind of, kind of hard to find. Unless you know exactly what it looks like. Ice cell. Good God. What is the point of that? There's the water cell. We can use that. Or we can use the even better mercury cell. Now, the mercury cell, you can either use a liquid transposer, industrial centrifuge, industrial electrolyzer for it. Or you can take quicksilver and um, put it into an empty cell to make a mercury cell. And quicksilver, as I said before, you... you make with smelting cinnabar so I think I'm gonna get a bunch of my cinnabar ore smelting because I have something like a thousand cinnabar ore so let's see so oh yeah over a thousand cinnabar ore that is beautiful so let's go put this into one of the uh, exp export buzzies on one of my furnaces oh, which one is it uh, this one I'm doing the charcoal so I'm gonna have to leave that to do uh, this one's doing bone meal so I'll leave that to do. Uh, can I fit it into this one? Yes, I can. Okay, so all cinnabar ore is going to be smelted into quicksilver. And this quicksilver is going to make the mercury cells. But we need to make that automatic canning machine thingy. And the automatic canning machine is made with... Macerated canning machine is made with a canning machine and a conveyor module. How fantastic. And a canning machine is just tin like this. Machine block electronic circuit. Fairly easy. So let's go make those. Uh, I would try to make them just down here, but I don't think I have a pattern um, for the canning machine just yet because we haven't made it at all. So we need tin in a thing like this. We also need an electronic circuit. Easy enough. 
and then we also need a machine block. Uh, because we're here, let's make like a stack of them. Because why not? Okay, so here's the canning machine. Now we just need that conveyor module thingy to uh, make it automatic. And the conveyor module, it's pretty simple to make. You just need, uh, well, aluminium plates. That's an expensive way of doing it. But you can use refined iron just like this. Glass on top, electronic circuits, and an RE battery. And I think I have a pattern for it. So let's go and make Oh, I've already got one. That's great. Automatic canning machine. So this thing will accept 32 EU per tick. And so uh, low voltage, I'm sure there's some down here. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm sure I could take down one of these automatic recyclers because I really don't need it anymore, considering how well uh, my other recyclers are doing. So you're coming with me. Thank you. And let's put the automatic canning machine down here. So, well, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Looks like a vagina. So, how is this thing? What's this thing exploring? Uh, I don't want that in there. Uh, I want the... Uh, what do you call it? I want the cells and I want the mercury. So, let's do that. Um, so, cell. Let me grab some cells. Some empty cells. Just like that. And then also uh, some quicksilver. Not mercury, what I'm talking about. See, that is smelting so quickly. Now, I don't know if I'm inserting these in the correct sides. Um, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, I think cans need to go in through the bottom, so I might need to wire this up slightly differently. Um, but regardless, I'll wire it up differently another time, in between episodes, as usual, and we'll just can stuff ourselves. Um, let's just... Do you know what? I could have just left it in the same place and did a bit of wiring. Let's take you out for... Oh, for vagina, why are you so powerful? God damn it. Okay. Now, if my family is hearing me commentate on this, they'll probably think I'm some sort of lunatic. Which I am in the first place, but... Yeah, this is a whole new level. Okay. Can I just... Make this off for a moment so I can get to it? Thank you. Let's just replace the wall, because our vagina is too powerful. And... Yeah, all sorts of weird in today's episode, but it's been good because it can one-hit stuff. Okay, now let's put the glass fiber cable back, and yeah, man oh man, I'm going to have fun with this vagina. So many innuendos. So let's put uh, an empty cell and a quicksilver into the automatic canning machine. Off it goes, canning it like a boss, and there we go, mercury cell. So, I think, like I said, you need to pipe in the ingredients that are going to go into the cell from one of the sides, and then cans go in the bottom. I think that's how it works. So, I'll automate this at some point in the future, but let's use this mercury cell for something, uh, something practical. So, uh, let's go back up to the industrial grinder, and let's see what we can grind up using these mercury cells. Do 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 do. What can we grind up? Let's look. Well, let's see. Uh, let's put some iron in with the mercury... Oh, no, that's not iron. That's silver. Uh, let's see. Gold in with a mercury cell. That will get us three gold dust, as well as a tiny pile of copper dust and a tiny pile of nickel dust, and, of course, the empty cell. So this thing, when we grind up gold, it'll get us three ingots of gold with mercury cells. Now, of course, mercury cell supply is limited based on how much cinnabar and quicksilver you have, but we've got enough. So anytime gold ore comes into here, or any other type of ore which can use these mercury cells, I believe, well, what's that there? Oh, that's a different type of copper ore. That yields gold as well, if you get it, but, well, Jen, it's all different. And again, if you put normal industrial craft copper ore in there, along with the mercury cell, you'll get two copper as well as a gold. So this industrial grinder is an absolute beast when it comes to this. So let's put our mercury cell in here, and let's see if we can actually find a piece of ore looks like a vagina. Let's go and get, uh, where is it? Let's, let me see if I can find some copper. Let's go to that cave that I saw briefly while I was flying around. Here we go. Oh, one hits everything. Okay, so we got some copper. Let's go and, uh, that's the only time I'll ever go digging for anything, I swear. Let's go and put this into the grinder and see what happens. Oh, actually, there is one more thing we're going to need to do, I believe. Uh, we're going to need to pipe water into this thing. 
Now, I think I can use an aqueous accumulator for this, um, but I think what I'll do instead is I'll grab a liquid tesseract, because I just have a lot of them, and I'll hook it up directly next to it. I think that will um, that'll mean it gets water. Yeah, like I said, it needs water to, uh, to function. So let's send water into it, just from the tanks. Why not? And uh, that means it should work. Now, there we go. Water is filling up once the water has filled up, uh, the cell will be used and yeah, this thing will start grinding. So let's put some copper ore in here and let's see what happens. It's grinding it with that mercury cell. There it goes and look at that. We get our cell back and we also get copper and gold just out of copper ore. How awesome is that? I will tell you that is freaking awesome. So now that we've done that, uh, what else can we do? What else is there to do? Uh, that's it. Um, there's a new energy storage unit that we can make, uh, which is from Greg Tech, which is better than an MFSU, and I feel like my MFSUs just aren't cutting it right now. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna upgrade the MFSUs. I have five of them because, you know, four pieces of armor and then one weapon if I need to. Or maybe that looks like a vagina. But, um, we're gonna upgrade these to something called the Adjustable energy storage unit from Greg Tech. Now this can take 2048 EU per packet. Per packet obviously EU comes in packets of 2048 each time, it outputs a certain number of packets per tick. It's just a different way of phrasing things. Now it says max EU out is 32 EU per packet, but one thing that's cool about this, it says adjustable in the title because you can adjust the output rate of these things. So, as you can see right here, it is fairly expensive. We need these Lapatronic Energy Orbs, which need 8 Lapatron Crystals and an Iridium Plate each. So that's 64 Lapatron Crystals and 8 Iridium each. And then we also need this Greg Tech Computer Cube, which is advanced machine blocks, energy flow circuits, data orbs, and these computer monitors. I mean, the computer monitors actually aren't too bad, but the rest of the stuff is. These, uh, the data orbs and the energy flow circuits, they're a bit complex. Now, if you were to um, get them via their normal shaped recipe, they are very expensive indeed. You do get four of them, but they are very expensive indeed. What is easier is if you use this thing called an assembling machine to assemble a normal Lapatron crystal with an elite circuit board. And how do you get an elite circuit board? Well, again, you use the assembling machine and you need this platinum plate. And where do we get the platinum plate from? by bending platinum ingots. And where do we get that from? From dust. And where do we get the dust from? We get it from the industrial grinder with the ferrous ore. So, I'm gonna make a bunch more mercury cells and get some platinum dust, and we're gonna make that assembly table so that we can do what we need to do. On well, the assembly machine, the assembly table is different. The assembly machine is what we want. So the assembly machine, it needs electronic circuits, conveyor module, refined iron, piston, blah, blah, blah. So let's make that assembling table. And you type in ass and it comes up because we're cool like that. Avengers, assemble. Copyright Marvel. Hurry up. Don't be taking so long. There we are. So assembling table that also only takes 32 EU per tick. Let's just go plug it in down here because I don't see why not. Let's get rid of this other automatic recycler because we don't need it. Of course, I'll uh, tidy all this up between episodes, but for now, this is how it is. Uh, let's get rid of... Whoa! So quick! Alright. Doop. Doop. Just don't be too quick. Okay, uh, I probably need to connect that up, actually. Because I think this one's auto-crafting my, uh, my bread. <laughs> the bread is being auto-crafted down here. How amazing. Oh, for flip's sake! <sighs> I'll replace the floor in a sec. Oh, this one annoys me. Okay, let's put the assembling machine down here. So the assembly... No! Oh my god. Some... What? No. Wrench... I'm... Sometimes this auto-refill can be really annoying. Anyway, let's open up the assembling machine. So, with the assembling machine, we needed to combine the elite... So, okay, this is going to take way too long to scroll through. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, elite circuit board. So to make this, we needed to combine an advanced circuit with a platinum plate. So we're gonna need to go get some platinum. Let's make some more mercury cells, as I said. Uh, do I have some quicksilver? There, there's all my quicksilver done. Let's get some empty cells. 
stack of those. Let's whack them in here. Let's get those canning. So, we needed to get some ferrous ore. That's what the ferrous ore is for. Honestly, do not use it before this. Do not use the ferrous ore before this in the game. So, we've got some ferrous ore. And so, let's, let's take the mercury cells. In fact, you know what? I'd better uh, pull these things out. I wonder if the import bus takes it from the right. That sounds quite wrong. Let's see if it does. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Probably takes it from the top, come to think of it. So this isn't the best place for it, but uh, I'll take the mercury cells up into the AE network at some other point. Like I said, I'll automate everything between episodes. Okay, so let's put some ferrous ore into the industrial grinder, uh, along with the mercury cells, and let's see what happens. <laughs> Platinum dust. This is what it is all about. So, I'm going to keep supplying this with mercury cells until we've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of platinum dust, and then um, everything will be lovely. And we got our cells back, which means that no cells were wasted, which is absolutely lovely. And I don't know why I'm talking in that kind of endearing, creepy ass voice, but regardless, we have our platinum dust. This is what we needed. So, I'm going to go whack some of, uh, some of it into the, f into the furnaces. And I'm not going to smell any ferrous ore unless I have mercury cells alongside with it because I don't want to waste any of what we could potentially get. So uh, let's put this stuff in the induction furnace. There goes the platinum, there goes the nickel. Getting so much nickel from these things. So uh, yeah, this is just fantastic. So let's, we need to bend that, uh, that platinum ingot into a platinum plate. So let's grab the platinum. Lovely jubbly. Let's put the cells back in and the ferrous ore. And let's bend this into plates over at the plate bending machine. I think the plate bending machine is uh, probably the most basic Greg Tech machine, if I'm honest. Let's get it going. So, this thing's going to output into the chest, which then gets sucked up into the AE network through, a, uh, through an import bus. It's because of the way that Greg Tech machines uh, are configured on each of their faces. It's not easy to... Uh, interface them with a unless you use a chest and then an import bus but there we go those are done so now we need to go along to our assembling machine and we need to assemble it with an advanced circuit so let's grab our platinum plates platinum plates there and let's make some advanced circuits uh, let's how many did we need actually let's see uh, so adjustable and add you a Jew how many did we need for, that's not it, we need it for the energy flow circuit. So we needed, we need circuit board, we needed, uh, no, 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 I've gone past it, how many do I need? Okay, so one of these circuit board makes one, and we need two. So we need to make two of these. Perfect. So two platinum plates in there, and then two of these advanced circuits. I could afford to make more, but I'm not going to for the sake of demonstration. And so the assembling machine is going to assemble these, Hopefully, and um, actually, yes. That's one issue with this assembling machine. It does take a long time. I believe it takes something like well, oh no. If I click on recipes with Greg Tech, it doesn't like it. So this thing's gonna take a while, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's gonna take 160 seconds. So 320 seconds total. That's like five minutes. So this will take a while to complete, as you can see. But uh, let me think, what else could we be getting on with while this is doing? We could make those Lapatronic Energy Orbs, that is what we could do. So, Lapatronic Energy Orbs, they require Lapatron Crystals surrounding an Iridium Plate. So, let's go and get those. Let's make a pattern for it, because relative to what the other stuff that we're doing, they're not too bad. So, uh, let's grab one of you, Lapatron Crystal, and then we need an Iridium Plate. Lovely. And... As before, I've got plenty of UU matter, so if I need more iridium plates, I can do that. Or I can centrifuge the platinum that I'm getting. Okay, so there's our Lapatronic Energy Orb. Like that in there, encode, done. Alright. Ah, I'm starting to lose... I'm starting to talk for too long and I'm losing breath. Okay. So we needed eight of the Lapatronic Energy Orbs. Uh, nope. Eight. Girl. Let's see what this is doing. Crafting a lot of circuits, a lot of Lapatron crystals. Do, 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 do. 64 Lapatron crystals, I believe, for each one, so that's quite a bit. 
Now let's put this stuff back in because we don't need it. I use those automatic recyclers briefly until I realized that they're automatic, but with the stuff in industrial craft, it's actually a bit better. Well, the normal ones are a bit better. Okay, so how many of, is that? Is that eight? I can't really see because of the thing. Yeah, that's eight. Okay, so Lapo, Tronic Energy Orb. So let's drag these down into our inventory, and as you can know, okay, we've got our eight. As you can see, they store 10 million EU each. So that is quite a bit. And the only thing we're missing, as we saw right there, was the Greg Tech Computer Cube. And the Greg Tech Computer Cube is going to go in the center of all this stuff to make the adjustable energy storage unit. Now, like I said, it's going to take a while for everything to do because not only do we need these, um, what are they called, the uh, the data circuit, well, not the data circuits, the energy flow circuits for the computer cube, we also need something else called the uh, the data circuit. I think that's what it's called, as I said. Uh, let's just check that one up while these are doing. So, Greg Tech. See, Greg, see, Greg's only in one name. Okay, so there's one elite circuit board. Highly advanced circuit plate, it says. It's going to be doing the others now. Ah, these computer monitors and the data orb. How do we make this data orb? Uh, okay, we need an assembling machine with data storage circuits, which are emeralds and advanced circuits. Good God, uh, this is a lot of stuff to be doing. Um... What's the data control circuit? Oh, that's even more of these data storage stuff, and that requires a lot of emeralds. Hmm, I might not have enough emeralds for this. How can I get more emeralds? Well, there's this little thing that we can make called the Tome of Alkahest, which needs a wither skeleton skull, a blaze rod, a book, magma cream, gold ingot, gas tear, lava bucket, nether wart, and glowstone block. These are really, really random items, but luckily I do happen to have one of each. Now, what can you do with the uh, Tome of Alkahest? Well, we're going to have to make it uh, before we can find out. So, let's make the Tome of Alkahest. It's a pretty annoying recipe, if I'm honest. So, I've got one Wither Skeleton Skull from killing some Withers. I have got a Lava Bucket, one of those. I've got Nether Wart. I've got plenty of those. I've got Glow Swirl. I'll just make that into a... I think you can... Oh no, okay. Uh, how do I make a glowstone block? Do I compress it or something? Probably. Yeah, I compress four. Okay, well I've got a compressor right here. So, let's let's compress the whole stack, why not? Alright, there's our glowstone. Glowstone block, right there. Do I have a gas tier? I've got 44 gas tiers, good god. Book, craft one. I've got a uh, mag. I don't have a magma cream, but I can get a blaze powder and a slime, I think it is. Is it? Yeah, blaze powder and slime ball. Slime ball and blaze powder. Let's make that really quickly. I needed a gold ingot on top of this. And then one other thing. Uh normal blaze rod okay so normal blaze rod got loads of those and then a gold ingot now challenge here is whether or not I can actually remember all, where all these things go and this thing is oh this thing is almost done making our elite circuit boards so there are our two elite circuit boards now what do we use those for well I'll show you after I've made this freaking thingy this tome of alkahest because the tome of alkahest is super super cool it's a little bit cheaty, but it is amazing. Let's put the energy orbs back for now, as well as the elite circuit boards and stuff. Okay, so glowstone goes down here, gold in the middle, blaze rod here, book there, with the skeleton here, the wart, mag, no, magma green is there, lava bucket, and gas tier. That's an annoying as hell recipe, but here we have the tome of Algahest. And we get our bucket back, which is uh, very, very nice. It uses up the lava. As you can see. So what can we do with this Tome of Alkahest? Well, we can't right click with it or anything like that. But um, what we can do with it is we can use it to make stuff out of stuff. So if we wanted to make loads of dirt, we take one dirt and one redstone, shapelessly craft it, and it'll make another 16 dirt. Just out of that. We can also do it with cobble, sand, do it with gravel, makes eight gravel, makes another two oak wood, or two of the other wood. Clay, obsidian, does it with soul sand and with netherrack. 
And with endstone, and since I have an endless supply of redstone, I could effectively give myself an endless supply of everything. Now we can make diamonds if we have one diamond and combine it with lapis lazuli blocks, but you might think that that's a bit expensive, but you can actually make lapis lazuli blocks, use it, well, you can make normal lapis lazuli, I think, uh, using the redstone recipes in the Tome of Alkahest, so... Let's see, and yes, you can double how many emeralds you have by making a lapis lazuli block, and you can make lapis lazuli by using redstone, which we have an unlimited supply of. So this thing, I'm going to use whenever I'm short on something and I just need to duplicate some shit. So, let's put it in here and let's make a bunch more emeralds. I do have like a stack, but I still don't think that's going to be enough, plainly because I'm paranoid. So, uh, how many lapis blocks do we have? Not any at all. Let's make some, like this. Uh, let's send this down to a compressor. Of course, because we have redstone, we can make loads. We can make infinite of everything, like so, yeah. Uh, compress. Pew, 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 pew. Is that a good number? No, it's not. There's going to be a couple left over, but that's fine. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll make some more lapis at some point, but... Yeah, this time of Alkahest is what we're going to use to make pretty much unlimited everything, considering the fact we have unlimited redstone, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, 36,000, that is well enough. So let's use those lapis lazuli blocks, 14 of them. Let's make a bunch more emeralds. And uh, we've just got another 28 emeralds, and the time of Alkahest is not used up. How many do we have now? 78. Isn't that just dandy? Now, I said to myself that I was going to try and show you all of this on screen because the adjustable energy storage unit is so cool. But um, this is going to take a long time as far as I can see. So, I don't think I'm going to show you everything. But I showed you some Greg Tech stuff today. I showed you the uh, looks like a vagina. Which is pretty damn cool because it one hits everything. And I also showed you some other cool stuff like the canning machine, the industrial grinder and that kind of thing. So I think I've shown pretty much enough today. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Feed the Beast videos every single week. I will make the adjustable energy storage unit between episodes. I'll show you in the next episode. We'll get on to what it does. But yeah, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. And by the way, looks like a vagina. <laughs>